Even when times are hard, some don't lose their taste for luxury. California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger called in at the Geneva Car Show and tried out this Bugatti Bleu Centenaire. But as the global economic downturn bites, even fewer people can afford this kind of vehicle. Many thought the luxury car market would be immune from the crisis. But as super sports car makers like Lamborghini are finding out, that isn't the case. As the Mercia Lago Super Veloce debuts at the show, Lamborghini CEO Stefan Winkelmann says the rich also hesitate before splashing out during times of crisis. And their aim this year is just to remain profitable. The total market is approximately for the luxury business. So this is not only Lamborghini, but it's not only the super sports car, but even the elegant uh, luxury cars. It's down approximately worldwide 40%. Some have called this the credit crunch rolls. The 200EX is the experimental version of the new baby rolls model and will cost about £150,000 less than the average rolls like the Phantom, which comes in at around £350,000. Rolls-Royce's CEO says the 200EX is intended to complement existing models in the range. But like Lamborghini, that may necessitate making fewer cars. I'm careful about predicting the future because we do see some softness and we build cars according to demand, so we have to adjust our production to meet the demand. Despite doom and gloom right across the auto sector, there are still a select few who let imagination take precedence over practicality. Swiss company Rinspeed showed off their iChange concept, where the car's body adapts to the number of passengers on board. But you're unlikely ever to see the iChange on the road. And those firms who are concerned about how many cars they've actually sold so far this year will be wondering how much worse things could get. Joanna Partridge for Reuters in Geneva.